ഹേ എവ്രി വൺ യു വാച്ചിങ് വിസ്റ്റം ഷോട്ട്സ് നന്ദൻ നിലകേനി ഇൻഫോസിസ് കോ ഫൗണ്ടർ റിലീസ് ഇസ് ന്യൂ ബുക്ക് ദിസ് വീക്ക് ഇറ്റ്സ് കോൾഡ് ദ ആർട്ട് ഓഫ് ബിറ്റ് ഫുൾനെസ് ദ ബുക്ക് ഈസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ടോക്സിക് റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് പീപ്പിൾ ഹാവ് വിത്ത് ദർ ഡിജിറ്റൽ ഡിവൈസസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് അബൌട്ട് സ്പെൻഡിങ് ടൈം ഓൺ ആർ ഡിവൈസസ് ബെറ്റർ സി ടുഡേ മൈ ടോപ്പിക് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഡിജിറ്റൽ വെൽനെസ് ക്രിസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഹാരിസ് വാസ് എ ടോപ്പ് ഡിസൈനർ ഇൻ ഗൂഗിൾ the man who designed the first google inbox app he left his job 5 years back and started a non profit organization called time well spent so the goal of time well spent is to promote digital minimalism and get people out of digital addiction on average people spend you know 2 2 and a half hours every day on social media studies say people check their phones more than 150 times a day so we came to a stage where instead of people using phones phones are using people social media apps are designed like the designed by brilliant minds to nurture addiction manipulate emotions and behave behaviors for their profit for social media apps their primary source of profit is through advertisement engagement based advertisements that's their business model if so how do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service Senator we run ads. I say. That's to make money through advertisements they want people to spend more time on their platforms. They use psychology, persuasive techniques to keep people engaged. Millions of dollars are spent on research and development. Our addiction to phone is not by accident. It is by design. The top tech companies are deciding where we spend our time. Let me give you an example. So when you upload a new profile photo on Facebook, right? So our mind is very vulnerable at the time. Facebook knows that. Facebook knows that appreciation is a strong human emotion, a human need. So Facebook knows that people are curious about what other people are thinking of them. So when we get a new like on the profile pic, Facebook knowing the human psychology well will send you a notification. Hey you got 10 new likes on your new picture you know check it out by looking at this we get excited we get something called dopamine high it becomes an addictive behavior the interesting thing is you know they control the dial using technology using algorithms they decide where to shop when to shop whom to show your profile pic how long to show on others news feed they even know who is likely to give you a like to your profile pic using data science they orchestrate it really well using technology they even purposefully delay showing your picture to some people so that they like the next day and you get a notification the next day and you're hooked into their platform even the next day now recently the ceo of netflix said their biggest competitors are youtube facebook and sleep yes sleep is their competitor because people have only finite amount of time and these companies are thinking hard on how to steal our time they don't want us to sleep they don't want us to spend time with our friends they don't want us to have a social life they don't want us to spend time with nature they don't want us to do anything meaningful you know they want our time and attention our time and attention is their profit there is competition for attention you know attention is the new currency of success for these companies you know social media apps are like like akshay patra you know there is no end to it you can scroll all your life you don't even have to press the button it will auto play for you there is a story about how they designed scrolling feature on facebook you know way back in 2006 they were inspired by the scroll wheel on a mouse because with the scroll wheel on a mouse your hand never had to leave the resting position you just scroll to see the next thing Now before that you had to click on the down button or move your mouse and drag to see new things right so facebook didn't want people to click open and see things because it takes a lot of effort right so this feature was initially introduced for desktop but later when touch phones came this became the best feature same with uh, this pull down refresh button on you know on, on our apps so this was inspired by slot machines in casinos you know 
you you know in casinos you pull the lever and see whether you are lucky to get the reward same principle people keep pulling the lever keep refreshing their feed to see whether they got new rewards which is new colorful notifications likes and comments it's a very compelling way to get people's attention see these platforms are designed by smart people you know to, to make us addictive they get money out of our time and attention so we need to take a step back and look at the role technology is playing in our lives while there are a lot of benefits and good stuff for having this app we have to be mindful on how we are spending our time so we have to set healthy boundaries you know we cannot avoid internet right but we can change our relationship with you know digital devices and internet so i did some changes with my with respect to my screen time so let me share that couple of things and if it you know if it's feasible please try it out so this is my new year resolution okay for 2022 digital minimalism the purpose is to spend time well on meaningful things and focus on what matters and to be more productive there are five things okay number 1 i uninstalled phil from my phone phil is facebook instagram and linkedin my top time filling apps i didn't delete my account or anything like that i just removed it from my phone if i want i'll check it in my laptop if i want to post something which i do every week i use my personal laptop the maximum time i spend in a day is like max 10 minutes to check updates you know that's it for me personally i want to be a content creator than a content consumer you know i want that time and space to create content for others number 2 whatsapp in whatsapp other than direct messages all my whatsapp groups are on mute so i was scheduled to check couple of times in a day that's it number 3 notifications no notifications on my phone other than direct text messages i unsubscribed from all unwanted emails you know this constant onslaught of information affects our mental peace this is a wonderful tool called unroll.me unroll.me so you can use that to do this effectively number 4 i deleted all media apps news apps ott apps so right now it's only music podcast and other learning apps you know i i spend good amount of time learning you know following a lot of inspirational people channels listening to podcast audible you know that's food for food for thought for me number 5 is i decided not to touch my phone between 8 pm and 8 am so i keep my phone in a different room and i decided not to take it to bedroom there are lot of research and studies on how the blue light from our phones and the negative media we consume before sleep affect our sleep quality and all these apps now have dark mode and night mode and all those things because basically again they want us to you know you know be awake at night and watch their platforms and checking phones first thing in the morning is again not a healthy habit you should not stress your mind with notifications emails and text messages first thing in the morning and giving you no time and space to start your day calmly you'll be pulled to other people's agenda and their to do's in in first thing in the morning then your own goals and morning rituals so basically my relationship with phone has changed for good now so far i haven't missed anything but i gained a lot of peace and happiness so if you want to learn more strategies on how to manage your phone and spend time well check this humanetech.com so this is the website of time well spent organization also i recommend you to read the book the art of bitfulness So in 2022 let's spend time well and live in the real world. Thank you so much for watching. I am Srijit Krishnan. Stay happy, stay healthy.